Today's Friday, October 18th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $143. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's Sons with a U, the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's Sons with a U, Sons of Liberty Mint. Mint.com. Engineers in Peru have invented a billboard that captures and filters moisture from the air, turning it into drinking water for any passers-by. The billboard is 50 feet tall and can produce 100 liters of water out of thin air every day. One billboard is capable of providing drinking water for hundreds of families per month. It was designed by Lima's University of Engineering and Technology as an advertisement for enrollment. The billboard's resourceful design takes a advantage of atmospheric humidity to overcome the lack of transportable water in the coastal desert. Can you imagine these billboards in your city? The Dalai Lama recently endorsed cannabis and said it should be legal to use as medicine. The spiritual leader made the comments in the middle of a debate as Mexico City considers legalizing cannabis. He came to the event hosted by former President Vicente Fox, who supports legalization because it cuts off revenue for the drug cartels. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet app. At blockchain.info. As reported by Peace News Now this week, a homeless man named Leo, also called the Journeyman Hacker, was arrested after midnight for sleeping on a New York City park bench. The out of work engineer's crime was trespassing. He made headlines earlier this year when partnering with entrepreneur Patrick McCalling to receive programming lessons. Heather Callahan of the Activist Post wrote an awesome article about this incident that I'd like to share with you. Patrick had provided Leo with a laptop at his expense and free software, books, Wi-Fi, and one-hour lessons each day starting in August. Leo was set to go on the Today Show on Wednesday morning until police arrested him and confiscated his laptop and a new phone gifted to him. Patrick fought to have him released and push the hearing up so Leo could do his interview. Patrick made this update Tuesday. Quote, Leo was released early this morning in an incredible turnaround time. He was taken to the hospital in the middle of the night for throwing up. Sounds like stress, but the hearing after went quickly. Leo said, quote, the police were just doing their job. The officer who arrested me was following orders. The laptop and prototype phone were not returned, but after walking back to the 10th precinct this morning, we were told some paperwork needed to be changed for it to be released and to return at midnight to talk with the arresting officer. Business Insider reported that Patrick went to the precinct, but was unable to retrieve Leo's personal belongings, including the Samsung computer Patrick purchased himself. Police refused to return the computer because Patrick could not provide a serial number, though he did show a receipt for the computer. The two implored respect for the police and drew different kinds of jeers for their emphatic defense of the cops who arrested Leo. They expressed sentiments for NYPD such as comparing them to 9-11 heroes and, quote, have faith in NYPD. They did nothing wrong. If they did nothing wrong to arrest Leo, then why get him out? He would be a lawbreaker. And if NYPD acted rightly, then that would mean that they were justified in enforcing that law. Leo harmed no one. Should he have been locked up and his few possessions taken and kept? It's one thing to peacefully accept the crap storm and find a solution, but it's wholly another to eagerly defend unacceptable infringements. That complicity keeps bad behavior going. Patrick made a point about the police's action being part of an imperfect system, meaning it's not their faults. Yet, how how do broken systems continue? By its many enforcers who push empathy aside to, quote, follow orders. They did have a choice in this situation, and they can give back Leo's belongings. Do you work in a bureaucracy? Remember that you are not just a cog in a machine. Your actions matter. The Milgram experiment proved the world is filled with people who will harm and even kill strangers when ordered by an authority. Be the exception. Think for yourself and choose to do what is right. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.